Hello everyone, in this video we will be solving word problems on systems of three equations. Let's have this example right here. The math club is doing a three-day yard sale for a field trip. They are selling t-shirt, pants, and shoes. On the first day, they were able to sell eight t-shirts, five pants, and four pairs of shoes for a total of 340. On the second day, they were able to sell 12 t-shirts, seven pants, and 10 pairs of shoes for a total of 660. On the third day, they were able to sell 10 t-shirts, four pants, five pairs of shoes, and for a total of 380. What is the price each of one t-shirt, one pair of pants, and one pair of shoes? So this is systems of three equations. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this word problem right here. The first step is to set up the systems of equation. So in this um, problem right here, we can go ahead and say that the first day would be our first equation. So they were able to sell eight t-shirts, five pants, and four pairs of shoes. So we can assign different letters and variables for this, but in general, this would be X, Y, and Z. But again, these are variables, you can always change them. So we can just go ahead and uh, label this as step one right here. So I'll just label that as step one. So I will use T for t-shirt, so I can go ahead and write um, on the first step, that would be eight T, and then plus five pants, so that would be letter P, and then four pairs of shoes, so I can just go ahead and say plus four S, and that is equal to 340, that's on the first day. On this, again, these are variables, most of the time they use X, Y, and Z for this, but for the purpose of this problem, we use T for t-shirt, we use P for pants, and we use S for shoes. And then we can go ahead and uh, look at the second day, they were able to sell 12 t-shirts, so I can go ahead and write 12 T, plus they were able to sell seven pants, and then 10 pairs of shoes, so 10S for a total of 660. And on the third day, they were able to sell 10 t-shirts, four pants, and five pairs of shoes. So I can go ahead and write that up here, 10T plus 4P, and then plus 5S, and that is equal to $380. Okay, so that's the first step. We um, set up the system of equation. Again, you can use X, Y, and Z for this. It doesn't matter. These are variables. Now, we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to eliminate X in the first and second equation. So we can go ahead and say that this is our first equation. This is the second equation. This is the third equation. So I can go ahead and label this as step two. We are eliminating x from the first and second equation. So I can go ahead and write the first equation up here. Okay, there's a trick to do this so that we can eliminate the first uh, variable. Again, in the in the method that I give you, I use x for it, but that's pretty much the first variable. Again, this is x, y, and z. So the first variable is x, the second variable is y, the third variable is z. The trick in order that we can ice, um, eliminate the t here or the x is to multiply these two equations. The number that we multiply would be this eight is gonna go to the second, and this this 12 is going to go to the first. So then we go ahead and distribute the 12 to each of the terms inside the parentheses and do the same thing for the um, 8 right here to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So once we distribute this, so that is um, 12 times 8t would be 96t. Um, and then 12 times 5p is 60p, so that's plus 60p. And then 12 times 4s is 48s. And then we have 12 times 340 is 4080. And then I do the same thing for the 8 distributed to each of the terms here.
Okay, now what are we gonna do next is we are going to subtract these two equations, so every time. So we're gonna subtract it. So once we subtract it, we can go ahead and say 96t minus 96t is gone, so we eliminated the t, and so we are going to subtract 60p minus 56p would be 4p, 48 minus 80, both have S on them, is negative 32S. And then we have 4,080 minus 5,280 is negative 1,200. So this is our equation from the second step. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to eliminate x in the second and third equation. So what we did was the uh, second step was the first and second. Now this time around, we're gonna eliminate the t in the second and third equation. So I'm gonna show the work on the side right here. So this will be for step three. So then I can go ahead and write the second and the third. So that would be 12t and then plus 7p plus 10s is equal to 660. And then the other one right here, the uh, third would be 10t plus 4p plus 5s is equal to 380. Again, we are going to do the same trick as what we did over here. We are going to multiply this equation with the coefficient of the t here that goes to the first, so 10, and then this one will be multiplied by 12. And then we are going to distribute the 10 to each term and the 12 to each term and then multiply them. So I'm just gonna show the work up here. Okay, so what are we gonna do next is we always subtract it just like how we did it here. So we subtract these two equations and so we can cross out the 120t and 120t. So 70 minus 48p is 22p plus uh, that's 100 minus 60s is 40s and then 6,600 minus 4,560 is 2,040. So this is the equation from step three. Now we're ready to move on to the fourth step. The fourth step is that we eliminate y using the equations from step one and step two. We remember that the equation for step one and step two are Okay, so we are going to eliminate y. Again, remember this is the y and this is the z. Again, these are variables. So we're gonna el eliminate p from here. So what are we gonna do is we are going to, I'm just gonna rewrite that down here. Okay, again, the trick in order that we can eliminate this variable is that we're gonna multiply it. So the first one here is four, so I'm gonna multiply that four over there. This is 22, so I will multiply it to the first, and then I'm going to distribute this 22 to each term inside the parentheses, and this four to each term inside the parentheses, meaning I'm going to multiply it. So I'm just gonna show the work up here. Okay, so what are we gonna do next is we are going to, again, always subtract these two equations. So we're gonna minus it so that we can eliminate the P or the Y. 
So this would be 88p minus 88p. So this one is gone, it turns into zero. So we are left with negative 704s minus 160s is negative 864s. And then um, negative 26,400, that's uh, minus 8,160 is 34,560. And so we want to solve for s, so then we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 864, divide this by negative 864, so then we can cross this out, s is, this is going to be 40, so this is 40. So I'm just going to label this as the s right here. Now remember that our s stands for the price of the pair of shoes, so one pair of shoes would be $40. Now let's move on to the fifth step. The fifth step is to plug in z into any of the equations from step one and step two. So I'm going to show the uh, work up here. So we already have solved for z's. Again, this is like the z. So I'm going to label this as step five. So we're going to plug in this um, z or this s into any of these from step one and step two equation. So we can go ahead and use the first equation right here. So I'm just going to write it up here. Okay, so we are going to plug in the 40 to the S, so this would come out 4P minus 32, and then again, this is 40 right here, We're, we've solved the uh, price of the shoes there, and that is equal to negative 1,200. So then we multiply these two together, so that would be 4P minus 1280 is equal to negative 1200. So we're going to add uh, 1280 from both sides. So plus 1280. So then we can go ahead and cross these two out. We're left with 4p is equal to when we uh, when we add negative 1200 plus 1280 is positive 80. So then we want to solve for p. So we divide both sides by 4. We divide this by 4. So we are left with p is equal to 20. So this is the uh, price of the pair of pants. So I am going to uh, label this uh, down here. This is the price for the pair of pants. Now we're ready to move on to the sixth step. The sixth step is to plug in y and z into any of the original equations to solve for x. So pretty much this two will be plugged into the original equation. Now others are going to say which equation do we have to use? It doesn't really matter which of the original equations we have to use. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to use the first one. Again, you can use any of these. So using the first one, we can go ahead and write that up here. So we are going to plug in the S and the P into this equation. So I'm going to show that up here. Okay, so the price of the uh, one t-shirt is $10. So these are the prices for each of the uh, products that they were selling um, for their fundraising. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.